So a laburnum top, it's a poem about the laburnum top and the small bird that is the goldfinch. It is there that uh, in the September afternoon, how everything appears very calm and quiet, almost lifeless. And a little bird comes and it brings this uh, laburnum top to life. And why does it come specifically to the tree, the laburnum tree? Because the young ones are there and she comes and awakens everything. She brings energy, she brings life. And even the young ones, uh, right, they seem so excited to uh, see the goldfinch. And after she has fed them, she comes and very quietly sits at the end of the branch. And that is when we see the identity of this little bird. Before that, how does it enter? Does it make a lot of noise? Does it keep on uh, flapping its wings so loudly and, uh, you know, circling around the tree? But it just comes as sleek as a lizard. So very quietly, softly, smoothly, it enters the thickness of the laburnum top. And uh, yes, it is there afterwards that it comes and shows its identity. Yes, Amish? Right, so uh, here it is, a lot of sound words are there, a lot of movement words are there. And as such here, when you read this poem, it's a very short poem, it just discusses a little incident that how this happens and the tree comes to life. And when the bird flies away, what happens? There is silence again, there is stillness again, there is quiet again, right? And in that process, in that short period of time, there is so much of activity, there is so much of noise. So words are there, you have the twitching and chirping sounds, right? Those are words of movement, there is words of sound, right? The wings, they're moving and the birds, they're chirping and so much of energy and so much of life. But once again, it becomes silent. When does the tree become silent again? When? the goldfinch flies away, okay? Right, so I'm going to share the screen and I'm going to ask the students also here. I'll ask you uh, uh, like uh, questions and let's see if you can answer them. Yes, here. So if you know the answer, please uh, raise your hand, both offline as well as online students. So how did the poet describe the top of the laburnum tree in the poem, the laburnum top? What does the top refer to? What does the top of the tree refer to? The top of the tree is the, is it the trunk or is it the branches and the leaves? It's the branches and the leaves. And we don't give answers until ma'am gives us an option. Isn't it? We are so used to multiple choices. Ma'am, give us the options and we'll give the answer. Okay, right, you're preparing yourself. That is uh, now maybe a, a very uh, overused uh, phrase now. So how did the poet describe the top of the, what was the tree like before the arrival? Was it still and silent? Was it moving and angry? Was it silent and motionless or none of the above? Still and silent and we have silent and motionless, right? Uh, of course, Motionless, how is the tree going to move? Then it is still and silent, okay? What happened to the leaves of the laburnum tree? The color has changed. Which season is it? It's the beginning of the autumn and the leaves are changing their color. So from green to the yellow, right? And which color is very dominating in this poem? Yellow. So we have the yellow sunlight, we have the yellow bird, we have the yellow leaves, right? And of course, the laburnum has yellow colored flowers also, right? And the seeds have also ripened, yes. So what happened to the leaves of the laburnum tree? They were green, they turned yellow, they've fallen down and new leaves are growing. What had happened? Yes? You can look at your books, find the answer. They were green, they'd fallen down or uh, they had uh, turned yellow or the new leaves were growing. New leaves definitely not growing. Yes, so they'd fallen down, is it? Or they had turned uh, yellow? Yes. How was the tree standing in the month of September? 
was it still and death like was it alive was it green and happy still and green it was green still and uh, death like okay yes so the a one here part yes so all of you please go through this the next one is when did the death like a tree become alive when did it become alive in the month of march when the arrival of the monsoon season with the arrival of the sparrow or with the arrival of the goldfinch bird yes so by the arrival of the goldfinch bird it became alive now why did the goldfinch bird come towards the tree why did it come towards the tree to feed the younger ones to make a nest to rest or none of the above so you will not be getting an option which says none of the above so it could be a and b asking you right okay so why did it move towards a tree to make a feed her younger ones right so where are the young ones of the goldfinch bird this you know where are they come on without giving uh, the options can you tell me where are the young ones where are the young ones uh, aditya where are the young ones of the goldfinch where is that nest okay thank god you know that so the young ones are in the branches of the the thickness of the tree what role does the tree play you know like we talk about yes here the bird it seems it is not only seeking shelter it has found shelter but the bird is there you know maybe a medium of bringing that tree to life otherwise without the movement of the bird without the arrival of the bird the tree it seems as if it is what still and uh, dead you know right so the tree is there of course you can say dependent on the bird to bring it to life to bring that energy there right so what role does and uh, this is what the bird plays what do you think the tree plays for the goldfinch what role does the tree play does it give it shelter is it a supporter is it a means to feed a family or is it a resting place it is a shelter yes as a shelter she has made a nest over there that is where her young ones are safe okay right next is how did the bird move to the other side of the branch other side once it has fed like a lizard slowly smoothly or flying to the other side of the branch then it floats to the end of the branch showing a barred face identity mask enters the thickness of the tree as sleek as a lizard that is how she enters right so it is smoothly not uh, like a lizard like a lizard is how it enters right what are the steps that happen the tree is silent right it is september afternoon yes and uh, there is silence all around and the tree is appearing very silent and death like what happens a tiny bird comes and it's uh, out of uh, the you can uh, say the clear sky just enters the thickness of the laburnum top and what happens activity begins there's a lot of life there's a lot of energy right and then after some time the bird comes very quietly very swiftly smoothly to the end of the branch and even then of course where is she hidden she is hidden behind the seeds right behind the branches right so barred face identity mask it could be yes there are stripes on her face or she is there hiding her identity behind the branches behind the seeds so laburnum tree has these big legumes you know these long seeds these pods which hang from the tree okay now how did the bird arrive at the branch of the tree how did it arrive with a chirping sound silently never arrived at the other branch flew away and then arrived at the branch yes silently or she whistles there with a whistle chirping sound that is how she flies away towards the infinite yes so how does she come silently what happened after she fed her young ones she flew away she flew to the other side of the branch she stayed there or she took some rest in the nest 
she came to the other end of the branch isn't it right that is after she has fed her young ones now why was the goldfinch the body barely visible because of a color is it because of a yellow colored body because she was small because of the height of the tree or because she was brown in color because of her yellow colored body and it can also be if uh, no other option here because uh, right so the goldfinch is a small bird but here it is mainly because we talk about yellow yellow and uh, as if it is they you know hiding over there not Why did the bird vanish after feeding her young ones she came quickly and disappeared also even quickly where did she go to the other branch to the top of the tree to her nest or behind the yellow leaves to the end of the branch isn't it right she goes over there what happened to the bird in the poem she flew away she stayed on the tree she went to another tree or she went to bring some food for her younger ones she flew away once again here we have facts and here if i like last line is there the laburnum flies away towards the infinite this is a fact which is given to us we don't know whether she has gone to search food for her young ones right and or whether she is going to come back soon again right so this is just one episode just one incident whether it is something that recurs again and again is not given to us similarly like this from other chapters also you can be asked questions that identify the facts and identify the opinions what are facts what are facts facts it's information that is given to us right so like yes yeah, so we have the fact that uh, yes the garaglanian tribe was known for its honesty right yes so we were well, like if it is there so that uh, aram and uh, murad uh, stole the horse for riding yeah we know that this has happened right so this uh, you can uh, say they just uh, did this once in their life they will never repeat the mistake it's an opinion right it is something that we decide or we think on the basis of the facts that are given to us right so like it uh, could be from the chapter you know like yes uh, we're not afraid to die if we can all be together so many facts are there on the basis of that right uh, like if it is there that how the captain of the ship or how the narrator decided uh, yes uh, that uh, he had to make uh, a change in the plan right so he had to steer towards another direction to reach safety right of course so he is concerned about the safety of his family he is a good leader so among these we will have to decide if it is given which is a fact which is an opinion right so he is a good leader he is thinking about the welfare and of course yes here once again it is there that, that is why he changed the direction of the boat okay so please you should be able to do such kinds of questions so today we'll just get over with the test and tomorrow i'll be discussing these kinds of questions with you another pattern of the questions which you are going to get okay and yes so while a little difficult thing is there that for uh, 11th there aren't any kind of uh, you know references available so we are just doing it on the pattern of uh, class 12th what questions we have okay right so how was the tree in the end so what happened to the bird in the end of the poem flew away yes how was the tree in the end when the bird flew away how was it once again it was still alive it was uh, nothing changed in the looks it was death like again it was death like again so that silence once again the little bird came brought that tree to a you know life so what is the life here the, don't you think the tree is alive in the absence of uh, the goldfinch the tree is not alive it is alive of course it is alive but there is no activity there is nothing which is set in motion but the goldfinch comes and brings a lot of activity as if it is alive the branches shaking lot of noise 
so the little you know bird is there bringing it to life now what instance of alliteration is there can you tell me what is alliteration dipansho alliteration is rhyming word alliteration is what alliteration is rhyme scheme नहीं याद आ रहा ना हमें क्वेश्चन पेपर देख के याद आते सब कुछ तब नहीं याद आता हैव यू आस्ट मी व्हाट इज अलिटरेशन हाउ मेनी टाइम्स यू डिस्कस इन क्लास टेन गर्व टेल मी व्हाट इज अलिटरेशन सिट डाउन ओके अलिटरेशन इज रेपिटेशन ऑफ अ consonant sound right will you remember this aage ya okay what is the rhyme scheme is it now rajit what is the rhyme scheme what is rhyme scheme what is rhyme scheme or in a poem there is a rhyme scheme yes and sometimes there isn't so when there is a rhyme scheme how do we find out That there's a rhyme scheme or not? Next, COVID batch of class tens, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So the last word of the stanza does it sound similar to the next word or the last word in the next line, right? And we gave the similar letters to the similar sounding words. Okay, that is how you find the. Rhyme scheme A A B B C C or A B C B A whatever right so some poems they have a rhyme scheme some don't okay what is alliteration I can ask you definitions also it is not just identifying right how is a, a alliteration different from repetition repetition alliteration is repetition of a Sound repetition is a word, right? Fly, fly. That is a word. That is a repetition. Okay. Yes, sit down. Please remember this. And if you don't remember, do not hesitate to ask. And tomorrow, I am going to start everything from scratch. I will. I am not assuming. I know. You people don't know. you forgotten everything okay alliteration what is a metaphor what is a metaphor yes megha what is a metaphor students at home can also give me the answer what is a metaphor when we assume that something is like that isn't it right we don't imply it it is a comparison so we have two kinds of comparisons what are they one is a simile one is a metaphor in similar we assume sleek as a lizard a comparison is there right yes so we have one thing compared with another in metaphor we apply those qualities we think that a person is the other one or the other thing that we have made the comparison with okay right so here if i talk about alliteration over here if it is there can you give me the example here what instance of alliteration one to 16 12 8 number 2 Yes. What is the instance of alliteration? Engine of a family. Her bald face. 
sleek as a lizard or September sunlight. Alliteration. September sunlight. Okay. Now transferred epithet. I've discussed it with you when we did this poem. Right? And the lines are barred face identity mask. It seems that quality of those bars or those stripes have been transferred on the goldfinch. Okay? So like the way she's hiding behind the seeds and hiding behind the branches, it seems as if she has these stripes on her face. Right? So here, transferred epithet. Right here, like, of course, uh, Like the accident happened on the fatal road. What does fatal mean? What does fatal mean? Resulting in death. Okay. Right. Here, what results in death? The road or the accident? Accident is fatal. But I have transferred that quality of fatal to the road because that is where that accident happened, which resulted in the death. Okay, so I have transferred that quality. Okay, fatal road. It wasn't the road that was fatal, but the accident was fatal. Okay, so here barred face identity mask. So what is that barred face? What is that barred? The stripes. Where does she get them from? From the branches and from the seeds. Okay. What does the phrase about face identity mask mean? That is, her face is her recognition. What is the dominant color in the poem? You all know that yellow. What is described as sleek in the poem? The comparison here, we've just done the simile here. Sleek as a lizard. And what is the engine? What is described by the word sleek in the poem? Sleek here it is. What is described by the word? Yes, it is goldfinch. The bird is there. Goldfinch is there. Yes, absolutely. The comparison is with the lizard. But the answer would be, what has been compared? Okay. Yes, what is described as the engine? Now, this is very, very important. The engine is a tree. The engine is the bird. The engine is the little ones. And what starts? Machine gets starts, isn't it? Right? And uh, who is responsible for it starting? Is it the goldfinch or is it the tree? So who is the engine of a family then? But options are not there. Options here, lizard, machine, laburnum top, and none of the above. So it is none of the above, okay? So we have here, it is the engine of a family. This is always a very, very doubtful question, right? So something that brings it to life. What comes to life? It could also be there. Some people then they say it is the 